In the next few lessons, we will be focusing on sound waves. The pitch of a sound depends on the frequency of the sound wave. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. The loudness of a sound is related to the intensity. The higher the intensity, the louder the sound. And also, it depends on the sensitivity of our ears to that particular frequency. Our audible frequency range is between 20 to 20,000 hertz. And the human ear is the most sensitive between 2,000 and 5,000 hertz. Sound waves are mechanical waves because the sound requires a medium to travel in. The speed of sound depends on the medium. Usually, the speed in solid is faster than the speed in liquid, and the speed in liquid is faster than the speed in gas. Sound waves are longitudinal density or pressure waves like this. For the disturbance to travel through a medium, the molecules here have to somehow interact with the molecules next to them. The speed of sound is usually faster in solid or liquid because the molecules are closer together than they are in a gas. In old western movies, when a cowboy wants to know whether there is a train coming, what would he do? He would put his ear against the railroad track to listen for distant trains because the speed of sound in iron is about 15 times as fast as the speed of sound in air. Try this. Place an ear on a desk and tap the desk with your fingers gently. You should be able to hear the sound more clearly than you would through air. In a gas, molecules are relatively far from each other. They have to collide to interact. So the speed of sound in a gas is closely related to the root mean square speed of the gas. The faster the root mean square speed, the faster sound can travel in it. And this part is only a general rule, and there are lots of exceptions. For example, the speed of sound in iron is about 5,000 meters per second. In lead, it's about 1,200 meters per second. And in rubber, it's only about 60 meters per second. As you can see, the speed of sound in solid has a really wide range, and it is slower in softer solids. As for the speed of sound in a gas, like I said, it is closely related to the root mean square speed. If you remember from the kinetic theory, the average translational kinetic energy is uh, 1 half m root mean square speed squared equals to 3 halves kT. If we solve for the root mean square speed, we'll get square root of the 3 kT divided by the m. So the speed of sound in a gas is faster for lighter molecules if the temperature is the same. And for the same kind of gas, the higher the temperature, the faster the speed. You don't need to memorize any of these speeds for the AP exam. However, I do ask my students to memorize the speed of sound in air at 20 degrees Celsius, the 343 meters per second. This speed is much, much slower than C, the speed of light in vacuum. The speed of light in air is about the same as C. What observations do you have that tells you light travels much faster than sound does? The most obvious one is probably the fact that we would hear thunder after we see the lightning. Let's say you hear thunder three seconds after you see lightning. How far away are you from the source of the lightning? Since it takes almost no time for light from the lightning to reach you, we can estimate the distance using just the speed of sound. The distance equals to the speed times time, and that's 343 meters per second times 3 seconds. So this is 1,029 meters away.